Hey, what's going on? My name is Matthew Connolly. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I upload music video editing tutorials in Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects, and I also give you guys more of an insight of my creative process with music video creation. So for today's video, I'll be teaching you how to do this desaturated effect where you leave one color in the scene and you strip away all of the other colors in the scene and it kind of gives it like this like cool like desaturated look but it also still has like a pop of let's say blue or a pop of orange or red whatever the most prominent color is in the scene that's the one that we're going to leave and we're going to strip away all the other colors let's hop into the computer and get started with today's video all right so we have adobe premiere pro opened up now so the first thing that we want to do is find your clip that you want to apply this effect to and drag that into your timeline. So once the clip is in your timeline, we're just going to make an adjustment layer. So go to your project window, right click, go to new item, and then do adjustment layer. Make sure that the adjustment layer has the same dimensions and frame rate as your sequence that you're putting your video into. And then press OK. And then you'll see this little adjustment layer window pop up and then just drag that into your sequence. And then make sure that it's on top of the video that you wanna be applying the effect to. So the first thing that we wanna do is we want to make sure that we have the adjustment layer selected. Then we're going to go over to the Lumetri color panel and we're going to scroll down. And if you don't see, if it's all collapsed, we're going to go to curves actually. And we're going to just click that and then the window will expand. We're going to scroll down until we see hue saturation curves. And then this is where we're pretty much just going to be manipulating what colors we want in the scene and what we don't. So for instance, the clip that we have, the artist is wearing a blue shirt, right? So we want to keep that. And then we're going to pretty much mute every other color in this clip. So to do that, you go over to where this little line is. You'll see when you hover over it, it creates like a little plus. And then when you click, it makes like little circles, right? So for me, I'm going to make a point right before where the blue is. So that's where I put the purple dot. And then I made another one right where the blue is, right? Because we want to grab this blue one and drag it up to make the to make the blue color really pop, right? And then we're going to create another one on the far end from where you created the one that you're trying to make pop. And we're going to drag that down. And as you see, it pretty much removed all the color from his skin, but it kept the blue in his sweatshirt. And that's pretty much just like the basics of this effect, right? And then you can go in, you can like tweak this, you know, I'll make another point for the blue, make that boost it all the way to the top. Let's bring the purple one down. Cause you can see there's a little bit of purple fringing like around like his hand and stuff like that. So we'll just drag that down a little bit like that. You don't want to go too crazy with boosting, I guess, the blue, because then you can start seeing it like, like the colors start like falling apart sometimes if you do too much. If we just toggle that on and off, it's kind of, yeah, pretty cool. And then like, if you wanted to like animate it or something like that, you can go over to the effects controls and make sure that you have the adjustment layer selected. And then you can like keyframe the opacity, right? So if we wanted it to be normal color first and then like fade into this or vice versa, we would have the opacity at zero. So then it would be normal color, right? And then we go like a little bit later in the sequence and then we change the opacity to a hundred. So then it's going to gradually switch from original color to the desaturated. So it's like a cool little like transition if you want it to be like, you know, a mix of both. Or if you just want it to be this desaturated look, you can just let it rock at 100 opacity. And the cool thing about doing this to an adjustment layer is that you can have it go over multiple clips, right? So you don't have to sit there and copy and paste the, the values onto each clip. You just pretty much 
just adjust the the length of this adjustment layer and have it cover you know whatever clips you want to be affected by or what whatever clips you want this effect to be on right and the way adjustment layers work it's like a transparent layer and anything underneath it is what's going to be applied the effect it will be applied to okay but yeah that's pretty much the basics for today's tutorial hopefully you learned something new and if you did leave a comment down below give the video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications to be alerted every single time i post a new video hope to see you next time peace